Hi there. Let's take a look in this short video at what is meant by a term you may have come across when you're looking at external growth. What is meant by a merger? Now a merger is just one of several different methods of external growth. External growth, remember, where the business identifies a growth strategy that involves activities from outside the existing business. And a merger is one of the four main methods there listed on the screen, takeovers, mergers, and then two others, which we'll cover in separate topic videos, joint ventures and strategic alliances. Now a merger, it's quite important to remember what actually happens. A merger involves a new business being formed into which two, usually two, but sometimes more existing businesses are integrated. So a merger, a combination of two previously separate businesses formed by starting a completely new business into which the original businesses are integrated. It's quite important to remember the distinction. Now, there are lots of businesses out there whose names or logos may be familiar to you, which have been formed by way of merger. Just uh, two or three there listed on the screen. Dixon's Carphone, which was formed by the merger of Dixon's PLC and Carphone Warehouse PLC. EE, which was uh, formed by the merger of T-Mobile and Orange. GSK, going back some years now, uh, GlaxoSmithKline, formed by the merger of Glaxo and SmithKline Beecham. And uh, Diageo, a name you may or may not have heard of, but uh, you'll certainly recognise one of the names that was formed by the merger of two businesses. One was a business called Grand Metropolitan and the other business was Guinness. So Diageo owns Guinness. Now, just to quickly highlight the difference between a merger and a takeover. These are the two most common methods of external growth. As we've already mentioned, a merger involves a new business being created into which existing businesses are placed. Whereas a takeover involves one business taking control of another business. So there's no need to create a new business. It's simply one business taking ownership or control of another business. So just to give an example of both of those two, just to help explain the difference between a merger and a takeover. With a merger, uh, we've seen that Dixon's decided to merge their business with Carphone Warehouse. A new business was formed into which both of those two businesses were placed and they called it Dixon's Carphone. By contrast, a takeover, uh, let's pick a recent one here. Microsoft in 2016 uh, took over or acquired a business called LinkedIn, a large professional social network. The result was a larger Microsoft. In other words, LinkedIn became a business unit of Microsoft. Microsoft shareholders owned LinkedIn along with the other businesses that that uh, well-known brand that multinational owns. Now, of course, this can get a bit complicated over time because sometimes businesses that merged are then taken over. So here's a quick example just to show you how this works. We've already mentioned that uh, some years ago now, T-Mobile and Orange were merged into a new business which was called EE. And of course, EE became a very attractive takeover target for uh, other businesses. And in 2016, it was taken over by BT. So now BT effectively includes EE, which itself used to be T-Mobile and Orange. Uh, just a couple of words about mergers. You don't need to know lots of details about them, but it's worth, of course, remembering that they are a method of external growth. Mergers are not that common. Most external growth uh, transactions are genuinely takeovers rather than a merger. Uh, where they do happen, they tend to be businesses that are broadly of the same size. Often uh, they operate in the same industry, although they don't have to. Uh, the, the key reason for doing a merger is that there is significant potential for what's known as synergy. And we'll talk about synergy in a separate video, but that's often a key motivation for bringing together two broadly equal sized businesses. But a key issue with mergers, as indeed it is with takeovers, is that there are lots of risks. And one of the key risks with a merger is trying to make two businesses come together into a new business and trying in some way to merge the organisational cultures. And it's often the case that, uh, as with takeovers, organisational cultures clash. So there we go, a merger. 
a method of external growth. And I hope that's a useful overview for you of that method.